we're going to have a family feast. And, and one of the things that I, I love is roasting a whole joint of meat. And, and in this case, we have a beautiful leg of lamb here from, from Keith Martin, uh, who's our lammer in Pennsylvania. And uh, we've gone ahead and uh, prepared it by removing the hip bone, um, uh, cutting off some of the fat, scoring it, adding pieces of garlic into, into the leg, lamb, putting it again on, on a bed of aromats. Here we have some more vegetables, some garlic, some thyme, some rosemary, some bay leaf, again, to help bring out those flavors. Uh, we've Frenched it, which that would mean that we've taken off the, uh, the, the meat around the, the leg bone here so that we have something to hold on to. And that's why they, they would French meat so that you can actually have something to grasp as you're slicing. Um, we love to roast it on the bone. It gives it a, a lot more flavor. When you roast something on the bone, also you have different cooking temperatures. So some of it is going to be well done. Some of it's going to be medium well. Some of it's going to be medium, medium rare, and so forth. So you get an opportunity to enjoy all those different flavor profiles from that cooking of meat. You can see that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. When we roast uh, protein or we roast things like leg of lamb or, or chicken or even pan roast a, a steak on, this, on top of the stove, we want to let it rest uh, after, after we cook it. Um, as it's cooking, all that blood is rushing to the center. It's being pushed in. All those juices are being pushed in. So we want to be able to let it rest and let those juices and blood redisperse evenly back into whatever we've roasted. So resting is, is, is really, really important. Now, how long do you let it rest? Well, it really depends on how big that piece of meat is. Uh, in the case of the leg of lamb, we could let it rest for a half an hour, uh, which I, which I would, would say is, is a perfect amount of time. Um, it could go even longer if you want. The great thing about roasting a big piece of meat is it stays warm uh, for a long period of time. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, we have some, some new crop potatoes, which Rory is working on, and, and they're just small baby potatoes. New crop means, of course, it's the new crop. Um, and we're gonna have some of those. We like to serve this family style, and it's really about that home style cooking. And, and again, that feast with the family. Okay, some beautiful vegetables, um, some beautiful potatoes. Nothing like carving a piece of meat right off the bone. Really takes me back. Of course, we studded it with garlic cloves, which helps give it that extra flavor that we like in the garlic. Garlic and lamb go so well together. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, just beautiful. Again, we think about, you know, the quality of the cooking is important. And of course, that has to do with the quality of our equipment. There's nothing that, that is going to help you more than having really, really good equipment. And of course, our equipment here today is uh, our beautiful Viking ranges and ovens. So it really helps us uh, produce high quality dinners. And we just love that. Oh. Even though I love my, my meat medium rare, um, lamb, I like to have just a little bit past medium rare. And then, of course, this is one of my favorite pieces, again, is that end piece that we love so much. I like getting a little bit of salt on that. Hmm.